only allows certain molecules to pass through it. To perform this experiment, we need an egg, some vinegar, honey, water, and food coloring. First, take vinegar in a glass. And keep the egg in it. You can see bubbles coming from the egg. What happened here? Vinegar is an aqueous solution of acetic acid and the eggshell is calcium carbonate. A chemical reaction occurs between acetic acid and calcium carbonate. The products formed are calcium acetate, water, and carbon dioxide. The bubbles we see are the carbon dioxide molecules. Slowly, the eggshell starts to disappear. After 24 hours, replace the vinegar with fresh vinegar to continue the chemical process. We have to keep the egg in vinegar for another 24 hours to completely remove the eggshell. Now that the eggshell has been removed, what we can see on the outside of the egg is its membrane. The egg membrane is a semi-permeable membrane that only allows water particles to move through it. Thus, it becomes enlargent and bouncy. What happened here is osmosis. Once the eggshell is removed, water molecules pass from vinegar to egg through its semi-permeable membrane. Thus, the egg gets enlarged. Now, keep this egg in a glass of honey. I have kept another glass over the egg so that it will be completely submerged in honey. Keep it for 48 hours. If we take out the egg, we can see that it shrank and became small. What happened here is the opposite of what happened when we kept the egg in vinegar. Osmosis occurs because of the imbalance in molecules. Since there is more concentration of water molecules in egg than honey, water molecules pass from egg to honey through the membrane. Thus, the egg became small. It's squishy and stops being bouncy. Now take a glass of water and add food coloring to it. Then add our squishy egg to it. Keep it for two days. Again, osmosis occurs. Now the water molecules will pass from the colored water to egg. Now, if we take out the egg, we can see that it became large and bouncy. Try this fun experiment at home. It is a fun and easy way of learning osmosis. Hope you liked it. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.